Chris, just in terms of Boston getting back into the game, what did those last few minutes feel like? Did it feel like all of a sudden you looked up and it was like a six-point game, or did you feel the run happening? What did it feel like out there? Um, you could definitely feel it come, coming slowly. Um, and working yourself back into the game. Um, but I think uh, that was still a good win. You know, we gave up, gave up a huge lead. lead. We have to definitely look at the film and see where we need to get better at, um, especially, you know, late game, the game slowing down. You know, I think I had a couple of turnovers there at the end. Um, but like I said, you got to credit them to hit some tough shots, some threes that got into the game. Um, had a great look at the end to, to win it. Just missed it. What did you think, though, of the response to kind of lock down, defend those last couple possessions, especially not necessarily the tight shot, but the couple before that, just to get stops? I mean, that's what I love about um, the guys on this team. Um, you know, no matter how the game is going, they're still going to compete. They're still going to defend. Um, still going to play as hard as we can to win. Um, that's what it takes, especially at this level. No matter how the game's going, um, the team's going to go on runs at any point in the game. Uh, they still have to stay with it, um, defend, and try to issue offensively. But, no, just try to do the right thing overall to win the game. Jim Ozarski. Chris, I, obviously, you guys had to build a 25-point lead, so, so things were working uh, to that point. What, what did you think of the defensive effort? Um, P.J. Is, as well, Pat, you know, getting out on the perimeter with, with Jalen and Tatum and, and maybe not keeping – or keeping them from really getting going. Those guys have been great. Um, Pat's been doing, it, doing that for a couple of years now. Um, we've seen it from far away with PJ brings to the table defensively. Um, as far as being able to stay in front of guys and contest and make it difficult on them uh, to get to the paint or get the shot that they want. Um, those guys are going to be great for us going down the road. We're going to need them, uh, especially PJ, especially Pat coming off the bench. Um, they're going to be huge sparks for us. Um, so we definitely going to need them. Eric, name. Giannis was talking a little bit about the different coverages the Celtics were kind of throwing at you. Um, for you, you kind of go on those two runs where I think it was like 10 points and eight points another time. Uh, what did you see in those moments and then in those other moments when it wasn't going right? Just kind of what were they doing to bother you? Yeah, I um, was able to get comfortable on both of those little runs. I think you're talking about, um, like you said, they changed it. Um, the coverages and whatnot, it's got to be better reading that coverages, those coverages and making a better play out of it. Uh, I think most of the time, it changed that first time it changed. I might have turned the ball over, made a bad decision. Um, so credit them, but also on my end, I have to be a little bit better, a little bit stronger with the ball. I don't know where my outlets are. They're going to trap me uh, for that coverage. And then the alley oop to Chris, I, or sorry, the alley oop to Brooke, my bad. Um, just what did you see on that play? I, I know he was talking to you a little bit afterwards, but was it just off by an inch? You couldn't really see on, on TV. Uh, I couldn't really tell. I thought. You know, it hit his hands. Um, maybe he just went right through it. Maybe I threw it too high. Um, but I still think it was the right play. I'm um, trying to wind the clock down as, as uh, low as I could. Um, and then trying to make a play. I see Marcus Smart on him. And uh, it's a seven-footer. So same thing with Giannis. You try to put it where uh, put it to a place where they can catch it um, and make the play. But, you know, the last couple of times it hasn't gone my way. But my teammates know I'm going to try to give them the ball if they, um, they're in the right position or have that mismatch. Steve McGargie. I've only played the Celtics twice so far this season in both games, come down to a three, essentially to a three right there in the last second. What is it about this matchup that's kind of produced these kind of nip and tuck type games? Uh, just a great team. Um, you know, the honest team from top to bottom with those guys that they put out there. Um, they you know, scored a ball pretty, uh, really well from you know inside and beyond the arc. Um, you know, they just you know, we're a great team. Um, we wish we could have made our lives a little bit easier this game. Um, but um, like I said, we watch film, see what we need to correct um, to continue to build in that league and keep that lead um, going to Friday. One more to Kane Pittman. Hey, Chris. Uh, I'm sure you would have wanted to keep that lead that you were talking about. But this team this year has been in, it feels like, far more close games than you were basically in the last two regular seasons. Um, and sometimes it happens in different ways. Sometimes it's defense, sometimes it's the offense. But do you feel within yourself that there is more confidence with the group or you're taking more from these experiences and, and tough matchups? I think it's definitely a good thing that we're in close games. I know, you know, you would rather make it easier yourself, but you know, each game is a, is a learning experience. Um, you know, to go down, to lose that lead, um, be able to have to, defend to get a stop or you know, defend to, to get a win. Um, just winning different type of close games is going to be great for us going forward. In the playoffs, you know, 
game slows down. Um, you know, much, much closer, closer games, every possession counts. So to be in these type of situations early on, um, we can figure out what works, what doesn't work, um, and other things that we can try. Thanks, Chris.